So today we're going to talk about a sad topic, which is when is it time to euthanize your rabbit? Euthanize means to give a good death to. That's literally what it means from the Greek. And this is a very tough topic to talk about. Many people have rabbits for many, many years and the rabbits are healthy and then the decline starts. And sometimes it's very hard to tell when a rabbit's quality of life has dropped enough that you want to consider letting him go. I think for human beings, letting go is a really, really hard thing for anybody that you love, whether it's a human or a pet, whatever. It's tough to say goodbye and you put it off as long as possible. But the reason we wanted to talk about this today is that some people put it off too long and I've watched animals suffer terribly because their owners couldn't say goodbye. It's, it's heartbreaking to watch. I've watched animals struggling to breathe, but their owners couldn't say goodbye. I've watched animals in severe pain, but their, but their animal, uh, the owners couldn't say goodbye. So it's a, it's a good thing to think about in advance so that you've had a little bit of time to absorb the thought and the possibility of euthanizing your rabbit when the time comes. So what criteria can you use to decide whether to euthanize your rabbit? Well, our uh, House Rabbit Society founder, Marinelle Harriman, has written a lovely article called Quality of Life, where she uses three criteria, appetite, affection, and attitude. And that means, is the, is the rabbit still eating? Is the rabbit still interested in food and enjoying food? And that's one criterion, but it can't be the only one. Because I remember years ago, I had a wonderful rabbit named Sam who was in kidney failure. He could barely move. And when I called the vet to euthanize him, the vet actually came to my house, did a house call to euthanize him for me. Sam, while the vet was delivering the euthanasia, was mouthing a piece of vegetable. Was the only thing he could move at that point was his head. And he had an appetite, but he didn't have anything else going on in his life. He was no longer able to be aware. He was kind of toxic from all his... Um, his kidney waste products that were circulating in his body, it was definitely time to let him go. But appetite could not have been the only criterion or I would not have let him go then. And the second criterion is affection. Can the rabbit enjoy receiving and giving affection? Marinelle's really an expert on this. She took care of disabled rabbits for many years, rabbits that were paralyzed uh, from the waist down, couldn't hop around anymore, but definitely enjoyed life and showed that in many ways. They could give and receive affection, they loved to be cuddled. They would sit in the windowsill and watch life outside with great interest. And they had a lot of uh, joie de vivre, joy of living still left in them. And it's lovely to let a rabbit live as long as possible, as long as that is there. So that's the second criterion. And the third one is attitude. Is the rabbit interested in his surroundings, in his human being? Is he still willing to sniff at things? Is he curious about things? As long as you see this going on with the rabbit, even if he's old and infirm, that's a rabbit that's still enjoying life enough to let him continue doing that. When you get a rabbit who's seriously debilitated in agonizing pain, or for me, the very worst is the rabbits who can't breathe, then it's time to seriously considering let, consider letting a rabbit go. And this is not a horrible thing to do. Many owners are so scared at the topic of euthanasia, they don't even want to think about it. But it's actually a very, very peaceful process. Typically what will happen is you will take your rabbit to the veterinarian, or you will have the veterinarian come to your home if you have a vet who makes house calls. And the veterinarian will give the rabbit an injection of a sedative to just calm him down, quiet him down before administering the euthanasia drug. And the euthanasia drug is given IV, just like an IV drip that you see in a hospital. Usually when the rabbit is sedated, the veterinarian will put a little catheter in so that the euthanasia drug can be delivered pretty much when the owner wants it to be delivered. But the rabbit will be sedated, peaceful, have time to say goodbye to his owner. And then when the owner feels ready, the veterinarian will deliver the euthanasia drug and it acts very, very fast. Almost by the time the needle is withdrawn, the rabbit is gone. There's just no pain involved. And it just makes you wonder why we can't do this for human beings. But that's a political topic, so we won't go there. Anyway, um, I would say, as far as euthanasia goes, think of your rabbit, if you can, more than yourself. It's really tough because we grieve terribly when a rabbit goes. But if you can keep your rabbit in mind and let your rabbit be the first consideration, you might make a different kind of decision in a more timely manner.